Hello everyone, it's Paola and this is part two of the Antonio Awards get to know the nominees type of thing that I'm doing. I decided to break the videos into two separate parts, one featuring the three main categories, best revival, best musical and best play. And the second video will feature other plays and other musicals that were not nominated for those big categories but include like notable nominations. The first one is A Soldier's Play. This is a drama by Charles Fuller and the synopsis says, the play uses a murder mystery to explore the complicated feelings of anger and resentment that some African Americans have toward one another and the ways in which many black Americans have absorbed white racist attitudes. Our first nominee for that show is David Allen Greer for Best Featured Actor in a Play on Broadway. He is an actor and comedian best known for his work in the sketch comedy television show In Living Color. Next we got Greg Cooper Spencer for Best Hair and Wig Design. He is a film, TV, and Broadway hairstylist. His theater work includes The Color Purple, Children of a Lesser God, Summer, Dear Evan Hansen, Kiss Me Kate, and others. Next up we got Blair Underwood for Best Actor in a Play on Broadway. He's a successful film, television, and theater actor, director, and producer. And he's been nominated for 17 NAACP Image Awards. And the last nominee for that show is Alan Lee Hughes for Best lighting design. Another play that has notable nominations is A Slave Play. Slave Play is a three-act play by Jeremy O. Harris. The play is about race, sex, power relations, trauma, and interracial relationships. It follows three interracial couples undergoing antebellum sexual performance therapy because the black partners no longer feel sexual attractions to their white partners. Our first nomination is Ado Blankson Wood for Best Featured Actor in a Play of Broadway, and his theater credits include Hair, Lysistrata Jones, The Rolling Stone, Total Bent, among others. Next nominee is Shalia Latour. She's nominated for Best Featured Actor in a Play of Broadway, and her theater credits include Cadillac Crew, The Review, or How to Eat Your Opposition, among others. Our next nominee is for Best Choreography. His name is Byron Easley, and he was awarded the 2011 Society of Directors and Choreographers Joe A. Calloway Award and the Odelka Award for Excellence in Choreography for the Off-Broadway production of Langston in Harlem. Our next nominee is Joaquina Kalukango for Best Actor in a Play on Broadway, and her theater credits include The Color Purple, Holler If You Hear Me, Antony and Cleopatra, etc. The next play in this other plays category is The Hot Wing King, and the synopsis goes as follows. It's time for the annual Hot Wing Festival in Memphis, Tennessee, and Cordell Crutchfield knows he has the wings that'll make him king. Supported by his beau, Dwayne, and their culinary clique, the new wing order, Cordell is marinating and frying up his pan in a bid to reclaim the crispy crown. When Dwayne takes in his troubled nephew, however, it becomes a recipe for disaster. Suddenly, a first place trophy isn't the only thing Cordell risks losing. The first nominee is Nico Anon. He is nominated for Best Featured Actor in a Play Off-Broadway and he is known for his work in This Is Us, Half Sisters and All About the Afterglow. Next, for Best Lighting Design, we have Alan C. Edwards. His projects include Stagger Lee, Macbeth, The Mountaintop, The Tempest, Kill Move Paradise, among others. For Best Sound, the nominee is Luke Man Brown, and he's written and produced music for bands, solo performers, as well as for TV, radio, and film. Next notable play is Novenas for a Lost Hospital, which celebrates the legacy of the now-closed St. Vincent's Hospital. The first nominee is for Best Choreography. Her name is Edisa Wicks, and she was described by the New York Times as having a gift for simple but striking visual effects. Next, for Best Lighting Design, we have Stacey Derosier, whose recent lighting work includes Don Juan Comes Back from the War, An American Daughter, A Daughter and Some Sons, and Theestes. For Best Costumes, the nominee is Ari Fulton. She has over 15 years of experience working in theatrical costumes, and she is the recipient of the Lilly Award for Creative Spirit. The next play is The Rolling Stone, and the synopsis goes as follows. Set in Uganda, The Rolling Stone is an intimate yet explosive family drama about two brothers at odds. 
one a gay man in a clandestine relationship and the other a church pastor who fervently rails against the life his brother is forced to conceal. The first nominee is Latoya Edwards for Best Featured Actor in a Play of Broadway. And she's most recently done the Rolling Stones, School Girls, or the African Mean Girls play. Next up, we got someone we already talked about. His name is Ado Blankston Wood and he's nominated for Best Actor in a Play of Broadway. The next show is called Anatomy of a Suicide and the synopsis goes as follows. An exploration of mothers and daughters, Anatomy of a Suicide details the story of three generations of women whose lives play out simultaneously on stage. The first nominee is Liliana Blaine Cruz. She's the recipient of a Lincoln Center Emerging Artist Award and an Obie Award for Mary Sequel at the LCT3. And she won an Obie Award for her direction of The Death of the Last Black Man in the Whole Entire World. For Best Sound, Rusil Frisson was nominated. She is a new media and sound artist, singer, musician, and producer. The next play is A Bridegroom Called Day, which revisits an epic work that takes a piercing look at the vulnerability of American democracy and demands to know. When the devil takes up residence in your country, will you act? Her first nominee is Crystal Lucas for Best Featured Actor in a Play of Broadway. Her theater credits include Ain't No Mo, Ball in a China Shop, Little Children Dream of God, Pastor Jones, and many others. The next play is Betrayal, which tracks an affair between a woman and her husband's best friend. Her first nominee is Sawe Ashton. She is nominated for Best Featured Actor in a Play on Broadway. She is an English writer, playwright, and director, best known for her roles in comedy dramas. The next play is The Great Society, successor to Shenkan's Tony Award winning play All the Way. The nominee for that show is Grantham Coleman. He's nominated for Best Featured Actor in a Play on Broadway, and his theater credits include Much Ado About Nothing, The Tempest, Sweat, Previously, etc. The next play is The Inheritance, re envisioning E.M. Forster's masterpiece Howard Send to 21st Century New York. The Inheritance asks how much we owe those who lived and loved before us. Nominated actor is Jordan Barbour. He's nominated for the category Best Featured Actor in a Play on Broadway, and this is his Broadway debut. Next, we got Little Women. This is an adaptation to the stage of the classic novel by Louisa May Alcott. And the nominee is Crystalline Lloyd. She is nominated for Best Actor in a Play off Broadway and is probably best known for her role in Dear Evan Hansen. The next play is Much Ado About Nothing. This is a Shakespeare comedy and the nominee is Danielle Brooks. She's nominated for Best Actor in a Play off Broadway. She's best known for her role as Tasty in the Netflix show Orange is the New Black and she made her Broadway debut in 2015 in the revival of The Color Purple as Sophia, for which she received a Tony Award nomination for Best Featured Actress in a Musical. The next play is Frankie and Johnny in Claire de Lune. The synopsis is two lonely souls who meet for a one night stand but discover a connection deeper than they ever expected. And the nominee is, of course, Audra McDonald for Best Actor in a Play on Broadway. She has six Tony Awards, more performance wins than any other actor, and is the only person to win all four acting categories. The next play is Our Dear Dead Drug Lord. This is about a group of teenage girls who gather to contact the ghost of Pablo Escobar. The nominee for Best Director is Whitney White. She is a director, actor, and musician and she's the recipient of the Susan Stroman Directing Award and Artistic Associate at the Roundabout. The next play is called Country. Dig deep into the lives and loss of the most deadly mining disaster in recent U.S. history. The nominee is Ade Shola Osakalumi. For Best Choreography, he is an award-winning actor, choreographer, singer, and dancer. The next play is Run Boy Run and In Old Age. The nominee is for Best Costumes and her name is Karen Perry. She began designing for the stage in the 1980s and she's won Costume Designer Guild Award and Cable Ace Award nominations. Best Solo Performances, we also have Donetta Lavinia Grace for Where We Stand, Deidre McDowell in Down to Eartha. The next show is We're Gonna Die, 
which weaves a series of songs and stories to celebrate the ways in which we live our lives. Our first nominee is for Best Director. His name is Raja Feather Kelly, and we already talked about him in the previous video. For Best Orchestrations, we have Sian McCarthy. He's a composer, keyboardist, orchestrator, and conductor. For Best Original Score, we got Young Jin Lee. She is a Korean-American playwright, director, and filmmaker. For Best Actor in a Musical Off-Broadway, we have Janelle McDermott. She is an actress, singer, and writer. The next show is Broadband Arkansas, which asks us to contemplate the cycle of violence in this country and how we will find hope and create change against the backdrop of hate that plagues America, spinning nearly half a century and three generations. For Best Original Score, the nominee is Ted Shen, who retired from a 30-year business career in 1999 to return to his music roots. For Best Book, we got Harrison David Rivers, and he is the winner of the 2018 Relentless Award for his play, The Bandaged Plays. Next, we got Danielle Fulton for Best Actor in a Musical of Broadway, and her theater credits include The Wiz, Darling Grenadine, and Jesper in Deadland. The next show is Skinfolk, an American Show, and this is a wide sweeping concert slash play structured in seven movements that explore the questions and limits of blackness, performance, and country in a sensuous and reflective cabaret experience. Our first nominee is for Best Choreography and her name is Nikki Douglas. She is a dancer, actor, writer, and teacher of children's theater, political comedy, and creative arts. For Best Orchestrations, we have Kashawn Henry, He's an award-winning composer, music producer, and pianist from Harlem. Next show is Octet, which is a chamber choir musical written and composed by Dave Malloy and directed by Annie Tip. The show explores addiction and nihilism within the messy context of 21st century technology. The nominee is Star Busby for Best Featured Actor in a Musical Off-Broadway whose recent credits include Decolonizing My Vagina, Moby Dick, Microcosmos, The Girl with the Incredible Feeling, as well as various concerts and solo shows. The next show is also a musical, it is Cyrano, and the synopsis is A large-nosed poet gives a dashing soldier the words to court the poet's beautiful cousin in this musical adaptation of Edmund Rostand's romantic play. The nominee is Jasmine Cephas Jones for Best Featured Actor in a Musical Off-Broadway. You may already know her from Hamilton, where she originated the role for Mariah Reynolds and Peggy Schuyler. The next musical is Scotland PA. This is a dark comedy which centers on a couple running a burger joint in a sleepy Pennsylvania town in a bloodthirsty plan to supersize their lives. The nominee is Taylor Eman Jones, Best Featured Actor in a Musical Off-Broadway. She is a Broadway actress, singer, and teaching artist. Her theater credits include Hamilton and the upcoming The Devil Wears Prada. For Moulin Rouge, the nominee is Sarnaja for Best Featured Actor in a Musical on Broadway, who was awarded the 2012 Backstage Garland Award for Performance in a Musical for Fella. The Lifetime Award is going to Chuck Cooper, who won the Tony Award for his performance in The Life. He has 15 Broadway shows to his credit. His most recent guest-starring TV appearances include The Good Wife, House of Cards, Madam Secretary, Gossip Girl, etc. And other awards include the Lucille Lortel Award for The Piano Lesson, the San Diego Critics Circle Award for Two Trains Running, the Odelco Award for Caroline or Change, among many others. And the last category is Best Quarantine Content. Daniel J. Watts for The Jam IG Live, Eddie Marwer for Hashtag Broadway Remix Challenge, Drew Shade for Inside the Mind, a Mental Wellness Series, Jordan E. Cooper for Mama Got a Cough, Sis for Living for Sis IG Series, and Camille A. Brown, Social Dance for Social Distance. So those are all the nominees for the Antonio Awards. Hopefully this was a little bit more of an insight as to what the nominees have done in their careers in theater. Hopefully this was also helpful to anyone and everyone who didn't know what the Antonio Awards were. Don't forget to watch the Antonio Awards at 7 p.m. Easter Standard Time on the Broadway Black YouTube account and their Facebook page. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!